Hello, this is your girl Physiology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. Today I'm on IMVU, and the normal videos I do on here, they're more fun and upbeat. This time I am doing a create video. Creating is something really good to do on here because this is a way to make money or credits or both. I'm going to teach you guys how to create something simple as jeans. You see these jeans? I made these. They're in my shop now, but I made these jeans and I actually adore these type of jeans. The style that I go for is tomboy style. So that's why the jeans are baggy. I'm going to teach you guys how to utilize whatever skills I give you today on this. You're going to want to know how to create. And you're going to want to be able to make money or credits or both. And this is the way to start. So with that being said, make sure you purchase the VIP. That is the only way you can create and you'll have access to VIP. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. This, this is where all the magic happens. This is where you create. This is where you start. Let me show y'all exactly what I did. Okay. So when I started creating, I would say months ago, I started this actually a couple years ago, but I, I decided to take a break. And when you take a break from creating in the creating program, you will go back levels. Okay. It goes from level one to 10. I used to be level 10, which is a pro creator. Pro creator is something good. It's something positive. Because once you become pro, that means more people have access to buy your stuff. Your stuff will be seen in the shop faster than people who are not pro creators. And that's how you get the money. That's how you get the credits. That's how you become good at what you do. When people are buying things that you make, you want to make sure your stuff is unique. And that's how you become pro. Some of the most unique looking clothes gets first page now first page soon as you open the shop first page is there it shows you the best of the best the most popular items to buy and a must-have that is important you're gonna want your stuff to be on first page eventually because that means you will make tons of credit tons of credit like i have i made over a million credits creating i no longer have a million credits but i have used up most of it either on like putting it back into my shop or actually just spending it on other people to be honest with you i haven't really came on here much but now that i'm back into the create mode my mind is saying you know what i want to go back to being on top so i'm going to show you guys how to be on top you need to have a program the program is called gimp or you could do Photoshop. I am not familiar with Photoshop, but if you choose to do Photoshop, do Photoshop. I choose GIMP because it's free. It's a it's an amazing program and it's free and it's actually easy to use. And I'm gonna show you guys some tricks that I've learned over the years. Um, so let's get started. When you go into the shop, click into the shop. I tend to go for, you know, certain type of jeans i like these baggy jeans okay so i'm going to pick this texture to use to create something completely different so i click on i you always click on i and i and then you're going to click on information which means more information so once you click on that you're going to see the next step okay so after we clicked on i and we clicked on more information the next step brought us here this is where you get the texture from. You need to right click on this and save it. Save it to whatever you want. Make sure you save it to a folder that you're gonna know exactly where it's at because you're gonna need that, okay? But we're not done yet. You're gonna scroll down and you're going to copy over this product ID number. There's a reason why you copy over the product ID number, but make sure you right click on that or let me show y'all how it's done. You right click on that and you press copy. So that was something simple, right? Now you're going to open up GIMP. I'm going to leave a, I think I'm going to leave the GIMP ID and the information 
below once I'm done with this video. But definitely, if you guys choose to use GIMP, that's the best way to do it from here. Okay, so remember I told you guys about the product ID number. Well, you're going to put that product ID number here. And you're going to control V and the product ID number comes up, see? And you're going to press go. And it will load in. It's going to take a little while, but it's going to load in. Now, if your computer's faster than me, it'll take less time. Oh, that was pretty quick. I'm going to click save because sometimes with computers, sometimes it will log you out randomly or it will crash and you don't want to lose any of this information. So definitely. So this is what it looks like. I will, however, change. I definitely want to change my avatar so it won't look like this. And this is a starter avatar. This is what a starter avatar looks like. I'm going to change it right now. I clicked on the hanger below. You don't see it in the screen right now, but I clicked on the hanger below in order to get to the outfits that I already have. And I just clicked on an avatar that I actually like. And this is what it looks like. This is what the jeans look like. And they're actually kind of cool. They look cool, right? Well, you're not allowed to leave these jeans the same color because that will be copying the actual original creator. So you want to add some stuff to it, that's fine. That's going to make your thing, your your whatever product you use and make, it's going to make it stand out. You want to pick something that's going to stand out. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So we're going to leave this open. Do not close this out. We're going to need this. Okay, we're going to go open GIMP or you can open your whatever you choose to use Photoshop or whatnot so GIMP is opened up this is what the texture looks like but in order to get the texture you will have to go file and open and get the texture from any folder that you put the texture in originally I named these baggy one and baggy two now this is the front of the jeans and this is the back of the jeans I'm going to change the color. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to change the color or what to use to change the color. Now, there's plenty of options you could use. You could use color balance, color temperature, hue chroma, hue saturation, colorize, or you can use any of these, actually. I choose to use hue chroma because it's easy and simple. So I click on hue chroma, and this pops up, and I just, I want to color it gray, so I just go to gray. Just move the chroma part over and press OK. And I want to repeat that step by going to filters and repeat hue chroma. There. So you don't really have to, you know, repeat it in a hard way to do the same steps and stuff. I used to do that and then I realized, oh, I could just go to filters and do it this way. So it was simple. I just changed the color and made a whole new different pair of jeans, right? Now I want to add something else to it because... Okay, the jeans are nice, gray, but they're plain. And I don't do plain over here. I want some texture to it. I want graphic looking jeans. Or I just want more colors to it. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to right click. And I'm going to press new layer. And I'm just going to press OK. And I'm going to do the same to the back of the jeans. There. And press OK kind of cool okay so now on top of this layer I'm going to add a texture that I like a color I'm gonna to go to open as layer and I'm gonna to go to colorful I actually like this color it's kind of cool but it's it's kind of I don't I don't see all the colors that I want to see so I'm going to make it smaller so I'm gonna scale the layer See, it's too wide. I want to scale it down some. So I'm going to pick 300. And I'm just going to press scale. There. You see, I see more colors. Now you see the more colors. I want to see these type of colors in the jeans. I'm going to do the same for the back of the jeans. I'm going to file, open layer. Now, you don't have to pick these type of textures that I'm using. But you can get your textures from Google. 
So make sure if you do that, you save it correctly, save it into the right file so you don't forget. I'm going to resize this layer. So I'm going to go to layer, scale layer, and I'm going to do 300. So I'm going to do the same and I'm just going to do scale. You see? So you have the same. Now, you know, you no longer see the jeans, but the jeans are still there. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do to show you to make the jeans appear again. So I'm going to do layer merge down. I'm going to do the same for the back of the jeans layer merge down. Now, this is all about playing with the opacity, which is over here. See this? I'm about to play with the opacity. It was first like this, and when you go backwards, it's not, it's no longer like that. See? You see the jeans that are normal jeans you had, and then the color starts to pop. Now, I'm not really seeing much texture in the jeans if I keep going up. It starts to disappear. I want to see the texture in the jeans. I don't want to forget those textures, as you guys can see. So I'm going to make it to 14.6, because that looks pretty good. 14.6 for the opacity. I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to switch it to 14.6. There. Now, we don't really see it. It's kind of blurry in a way, but don't worry, we will. So we're going to merge that down, and we're going to do the same for these jeans. I'm going to merge it down. So I did it from the same, from the, from the back to the front, the same. Now, I want to sharpen this because I no longer really see the jeans and the texture. I don't really see everything. I want to see it. So, in order to do that, I go to Filters and I go to Enhance. And I go down and I go to Sharpen. See? That's kind of cool. So, it's already sharpened it a little bit. But I feel like it needs a little bit more sharpened. So, why not play with the amount? You see that? That's kind of cool. It's giving like a grunge look. That's even more grunge in there. That's even like even more grunge. That is like the most grunge I've seen. So I want it grunge, but not too grunge. So I'm going to go with this. And I'm just going to press OK. Now, it looks kind of weird now, but you're going to see. I'm going to do the same thing for the back of the jeans. I'm going to go to filters, and I'm going to repeat the sharpen. And there, it gives it the same look. Now I'm going to save that. So I'm going to overwrite overwrite your save stuff. The way you save it is overwriting it. There. Now we're going to go back to VU and I'm going to show you exactly what it's about. So we did all that we need to do in GIMP. Now we're back in the editor and the jeans are still, they're just still plain jeans as before. Now let's and let's see what it looks like now that we've done that. So you click on edit, you open the jeans, you do the same for the back. Let's see what it looks like. Now tell me those aren't better looking jeans. Look at that. It looks like completely two different types of jeans. Like we turn something plain and boring to something artistic. See? And that's kind of cool. And you want to make sure you save that. And in order for you to upload to your catalog, let's see. I click on upload. I put the image of the picture of the jeans that I just made. In this section, I put keywords in, and then I choose the rate. Access pass, this is for adults only, and only adults can can wear the stuff. Or if I want everyone to have access to these jeans, I can. So I would click audience, and then this is a duration fee, and this is a markup fee. So this is going to VU, and this is going to the person who originally made the jeans. Now I want to add a hundred to it and that's how much profit I would get. Every time it's sold, I would get a hundred credits. That's not bad. Now, if I wanted to make my stuff a little bit more expensive, I could say 200. Would you pay 
719 credits in total for these jeans. You think your work is that good? You put it to whatever price you feel like putting it to. But keep in mind, not everybody has a lot of credits. There's a good amount of people that have credits and there's a good amount of people that don't. So if you want to cater to everybody, it's best to put your stuff affordable. Also, you have to unclick this and unclick this every single time because these aren't originally your jeans. You added more work to it. You added more artwork to it. You made it better than what it was, but it's not originally yours. If it was originally yours, this fee wouldn't be here. Okay? So remember that. You are not allowed to have these checked off. You will get in trouble and they will take your account if you click on both of these two. Okay? Or most likely if you click on this one, but don't click on... Do not... Do not have these checked off, both of these. Just to be on the safe side, don't have both of them checked off. Okay? So, this will be visible in your shop. But if you don't want it visible in your shop and you just want to display it, but no one can buy it, or only people who want access to it has to message you and be like, yo, I seen those jeans in your shop. I want those jeans. Nobody else has them. I want them. I'm willing to pay you this amount of money to get those jeans, you can un you can make it visible in the shop for them to purchase it. And then you want to unclick visible in the shop and then click display only. And it'll be back on display for everyone to see because all the best things in the catalog are on display and not a lot of people can afford it, so they just don't. But this is really important to know this and remember this. So creating can be super simple and easy as long as you follow certain steps. I learned slowly, little by little, from everybody else, watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. But then I stopped watching those videos and I started actually using GIMP and playing with the different settings in GIMP. And I was able to learn different things from that. GIMP is the way to go because it's free. It's a free software you can use from anywhere. Photoshop, you have to pay for it. Or maybe there's ways to get around not paying for it. I don't know. But I'm saying I choose GIMP because it's easier for me. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Click that notification button so you'll know exactly when I'm uploading new content. Have a good day.